Welcome Priest Planet. It is the Tarot Priest back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at what your life partner is like. Here is in skyline view of the deck so that you can choose that. So basically in this pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at every characteristic trait, maybe some zodiac signs, anything that comes up for your life partner. So a life partner is going to be someone that you are divinely here to meet, but also coming together for the purpose of having a life partner and not just a relationship. So this will be the ultimate person that you would want to be with or you're supposed to be with or divinely meant to be with. So I'll be looking at it all around the life partner in which you uh, should be with divinely. So in today's pick a card reading, I have four different decks. I will go to an upfront view so that you guys can choose the deck that resonates with you deck number one deck number two deck number three and deck number four again i want you guys to choose the piece that resonates best with you whether that be the red the white the yellow or the black piece in the meantime if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me or you guys are looking into learning more tarot or learning about tarot becoming a patreon or any of that information you can find that down below in the description box last but not least thank you guys so much for your support all my new subscribers if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe down below like and comment the deck that you choose that best resonates with you and your expression of the deck that you chose and the life partner that you are manifesting. So let's get started in the pick a card reading. Okay, if you guys chose deck number one, this is what your life partner will be like. Also, if you guys skip to the timestamps, if you guys are looking for any information or maybe seeking any information, you can find that in the description box below. So let's start with the animal energy. So first up, we have the white raven spirit. So we're going to look into what this is all about, and then I'm going to channel what your life partner is like. So 66, the white raven spirit. All right. Nothing in the universe is random for the intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Coincidences have meeting and the white raven spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns. So already with this card, this is telling me that you guys might be getting synchronicities or numbers or guides that are basically letting you know that you're already manifesting this life partner, but also you guys could be dreaming about this person. After today's reading, you might also start having dreams and synchronizing with this person. I already feel like you guys will have a spiritual connection uh, based off of the white raven. It's very rare to see the white raven. Uh, we see a lot of black ravens, but a white raven means that this person is going to be very rare and you guys will co-create together. So trust in magic. So this is all about magic, magician, and manifesting things. Even the winds dance in a pattern, participate in the magic of spirits plan for all. Align with the highest good and intentions and you will come to see that the white raven is guiding you and ally to you as a messenger of spirit. The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that you're that are your birthright. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention. All right, so we have the White Raven. Already, I'm feeling like your life partner is here to co-create with you. So this person is gonna have the same visions and the missions or uh, your guys' vision and mission will align um, with each other. So basically, I feel like you guys are into manifestation. This life partner will be into manifestation and magician being the magician or manifesting things in life. And we have the seahorse spirit, watch and wait. So I do feel like your guys' life partner is right around the corner. All right, let's look at what this means. Hovering gracefully, the seahorse observes with the perspective of one who is not engulfed by the drama, remaining at a distance from all the turbulence. So already this person is gonna be a much more peaceful person. They are not gonna be involved in the drama. They're not gonna be involved in the hype. So this appears at the time to remind you the need to be neutral and gain perspective. So they are neutral and also it is not my circus, not my monkey. So basically what this card comes to say is the best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see. So whoever this person is, they're an observer. They watch, they're an outside person. They probably won't be in the forefront. Um, even though we have the red, red is usually sometimes can be aggressive or very dominant and alluring as far as standing out this person is a person who is 
in the background, in the back scenes. They play an important part, but they're not in the forefront of things. Um, so they kind of stay away and they're an observer, okay? They also have a lot of opportunities and a deeper understanding of what you seek and they encompass beauty, truth, love, and wisdom. So already I feel like this person is going to be a spiritual person. Your life partner is certainly spiritual. They're an observer and I feel like they're also very wise. All right, let's see what else we have here. Moon child. So yeah, they could be an indigo child. They could be a moon child. Um, this says... This card says, every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. So this tells me that your life partner could have went through something and now they could be um, open to sharing that. Again, I don't feel like they are a front, for, front forth type of person, um, but I do feel like they've been through a lot and they kind of have a positive outlook on life. So they're very accepting, very op opening and welcoming to the people that they're around. They have a really good energy and a really good spirit as far as understanding why things happen and then with the queen of hearts this tells me that this person is pretty emotional and in tune with their feminine energy so they are um and can be vulnerable at times and are open to love i also am getting that this person might be an empath so they could be an empath or have empath energy um, but they're definitely a lover. They're definitely a lover and I feel like they they embody unconditional love. But as a moon child, they have a purpose and they have a mission. Healer. So yeah, they could be a healer. So I feel like they've been through some things and now they are interested in healing. Um, but for some reason, like if you're more of an outgoing person and more out there in the forefront, they come to bring balance. So they're in the background, they're an empath, they're definitely a healer, they're spiritually connected, um, they're very much in a vulnerable aspect, like they're open to love, they understand love, they understand the spiritual aspect of love, the frequency of love, um, they have powerful healing gifts, and then they also have abilities that they've learned to manifest through the things that they've went through. So I do feel like this person could have a rocky past or a dark past, but it was for the purpose of them discovering their gifts as a healer. So this person embodies and encompasses love and healing, also receiving. So be open to receive the goodness, believe you are worthy of abundance, a gift is coming to you soon. Again, while this is what your life partner is like, this is also messages for you and your life partner. So basically, I feel like when this person comes you may feel like it's too good to be true. Um, you have all of these qualities about you. You love openly. You're an empath. You're spiritually connected. Uh, for the most part, you're really wise and you're observant. You kind of stay in your own little space. It seems like it's too good to be true. So your life partner will appear that way, but I do feel like they do have a past that they probably are not proud of, uh, but this is to, for you to be open to receiving uh, this person in all of the, that they are. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a gift. They, they have great energy leadership again. Like they could be a mentor. Uh, like I said, like they're not in the forefront, but they're recognized. They're very humble, very humble. And they're very modest. Um, and that's why I feel like they're not, they're not in the forefront, but they're leaders leadership. So they're in a leadership role. They're sharing their message. They're inspiring and empowering others. So I do feel like you guys have a divine connection that is supposed to be together for the bettering of the planet. You know, like most twin flames are together to raise the frequency on the earth, to ship paradigms of love. I feel like you guys have a relatively similar connection in the sense of they are a leader, but they're very modest and humble about it. So I do feel like they could be an educator they're very modest, very humble, but a lot of people look up to them. I feel like they could, I definitely feel like they're into mentorship of children, helping children, helping the youth, or I, I feel some connection with children. And then they could have also went through addictions um, or substances for some of them, a substance abuse 
or something of the nature that has required them to heal. So they've been through something and now they're in a place of having powerful gifts because of what they've been through. So I think that this person sometimes struggles with the past and the present, um, but they have to understand that it is their past that has made them who they are. So they are a leader, people look up to them, um, they kind of come off as a king of swords energy. So this is a person that has some sort of authority, but is not like, oh, I'm in charge. They're just modest and humble. It's the type of leader that you would want to follow. Um, yeah, they're not really, they're not power trip. They don't power trip on things. They have power and authority. They have a vision. They're a visionary, but they don't abuse it. They're just a very modest type of person is what I'm getting. Trust. So I feel like this person is going to be very trustworthy. You'll be able to tell them your secrets. You will be able to open up to them, express how you feel. They're so damn good with like expressing themselves. Like they do not have a problem doing that. They might ask for, they might at first while they're building the trust with you, but man, they have such a good heart. And that's why I feel like they could already have children. They could work with children. Um, they could be a mentor. They're definitely educating their leader and they just have this really good way of being vulnerable and sensitive and they're very trustworthy. They, they would be a great grandparent as well. Just amazing with kids. Probably for most of you, like I just see a cabin, like a family, family trips, family vacation. This, this person is a family oriented type of person and they are very humbling due to what they've been through. It might not be someone that you would typically date, but damn, their heart, their energy that they have um, is a very pure like energy, but they had to go to, through a lot to get there. Um, and so they'll be very trustworthy. You'll be able to tell them your darkest secrets. They are not judgmental at all. They're very open. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting with the personality. So let's look into the love oracle trust again transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so again trust double trust um this could be since this is a past energy you could have already met your life partner and you guys might not be together for a few of you guys because it's telling me that there's transformation and trust is here twice um and so i feel like for some of you guys if you we're with this person and, and I'm describing someone that you're with. They're definitely your life partner. But here's the thing. You guys were divinely put here together. You guys have went through some stuff. However, you guys both have a gift of healing. And so you guys are made to be together and you guys will go through your struggles in which need to heal. So in order to activate these powerful gifts of healing, you guys would have had to have gone through something. But you are both capable of a new beginning because... Um, and you know, this person may have changed because of their ego. We all have like multiple, multiple personalities. That's what I say. We have the ego and then we have the spirit. Their spirit is this, but they may struggle egotistically with some other things. If you were with each other, you guys were made to go through that again, because you guys have healing gifts that you were supposed to activate. And so it may have felt like you guys have went through a lot. And so now trust is here to kind of mend that situation and mend that relationship. And they, if you guys haven't been together and I'm describing the person that you have been with, they have changed or they're getting ready to change and go through some type of spiritual awakening. And you will not even believe that, that, that it's them for sure. So yeah, if you were with this person and I'm describing your life partner, you guys have went through some things, but it's gonna, it's going to heal because you guys are made to heal anything. You guys can heal anything. You can heal yourself. You can heal the relationship and furthermore. And you guys might have children together. That might be why I'm picking up on that. All right. So this person's personality, King of Pentacles, the world card. So they may like love to travel. This person could be a CEO. It could, you can also be dealing with the Capricorn with the devil energy. They could be a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart, or you could be. So this is telling me that this person loves to travel. Um, they also love Again, the children card is coming up. The world card could be children, fertility, wanting children, uh, loves to travel, loves to move around, doesn't really like to stay in one spot for the most part, but they always come back home. Like there's a place where they enjoy being at, at home. Now the King of Pentacles tells me that again, they're a leader. People acknowledge this. They're financially stable 
and um, they could again be a CEO or someone in charge and head of their company. Also with the devil card, this tells me that they do have their ego side. And that's why I said with this energy, this is their spirit. However, they may struggle with some egotistical things with the devil card here. And like I said earlier, their past could have involved some ego things, some jealousy, uh, some substance abuse. But again, they've come out of that and now they're mentoring others being a leader. So they've changed that around. So this is picking up their past energy, what they admire to do. They're a very committed person for the most part. Their heart's desires do that. Their heart desires to be committed with the King of Pentacles and have stability and be stable. So let's look at the sex overall of it as far as like their in, the intimacy and things of that nature. So yeah, this could be someone from your guys' past with the Six of Cups here. Um, someone that you guys are thinking about being your life partner. This would be confirmation that that is probably your life partner. Even if you guys had a rocky up and down, I still believe that this is your life partner. They just need to change and go through their spiritual awakening. So I feel like you guys could be reminiscing over this person. If not, if this is not the person from the past, you guys have a past life connection and you guys will be, you'll, you'll dream about each other. And when you meet each other, you'll know, you'll know that you, it'll feel like you've already dated this person or I've met this person before with the six of cups. So you guys have a, a deep connection, even physically, um, because of the past life energy that you guys have had. And then we have the six of wands. So this person is very attracted to you. Um, also past energy with the sixes here and growth. Um, so they're very attracted to you but it's not it's not from a place of lust i feel that it's who you are that they're attracted to and so this person is very romantic can be intense sexually but for the most part they're pretty grounded in in the physical aspect of things yeah they enjoy being intimate they enjoy being intimate and passionate but not with just anybody they're not willing to just share themselves with anybody. Um, so they really admire the sexual and physical connection that they will have with the person they're meant to be with. So yeah, this is what I got for deck number one. Uh, don't forget to comment down below if this resonates with you. I'm interested in seeing how this connects and what you guys think about your life partner. In the meantime, on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is what your life partner is like. If you guys jumped ahead to the timestamp, any information you guys may be seeking, you can find in the description box below. All right, so let's take a look at what your life partner is like. Let's start with the animal spirit. This one had three animal spirits. Um, so let's just see what we have and I'll read from the book just to see what energy your life partner embodies. We have the armadillo spirit, the turkey spirit, and the pig spirit. This is an interesting person. Already, they're very mysterious. Um, they, they might be misunderstood. So let's start with the armadillo spirit, number three, and see what this is about. And then we'll get into the characteristic traits of your life partner. All right, the armadillo spirit. Learning to set healthy boundaries. You are entering a phase in where you are in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions or co-create your best life. And you may have to be discerning and say no to many things. This also means that you need to learn where you end, where others begin, uh, what, is your, what is yours to own and what is not. The armadillo spirit is here to tell you it's time to be honest with yourself about what you really want. Be clear on what you are agreeing to, declare what your needs are, and say no as a full sentence. So with the armadillo spirit, already what I'm getting is this person knows what they want and they're not settling for less. Also, they're pretty grounded, very strong, very grounded as you know the armadillos are. And then also, let's move on to the turkey spirit because I'm interested in this. Give with gratitude and grace. Uh, this person could, when you think of the turkey spirit, you think of Thanksgiving. So that's what they're kind of directing here with the turkey spirit is that this person gives gratitude and has a lot of grace. Um, but again, with the armadillo spirit, they know what they want. So they could come off as very stern. All right, let's see what 61 is about. 
So it's a message for you to always have the potential for manifesting a rich reality for the Turkey represents generosity. So this person is very generous and is very open to giving. Also, they have loving guidance, the gift of listening and kindness. So they love to listen. They're open to that and they're very graceful and they have a lot of gratitude for life. Uh, so this person really enjoys life and is very grateful for it. So the things that we may overlook, this person is very grateful for the small things. I don't feel like this person, I'm getting that they're not a very materialistic person. Um, they're very comfortable with minimal, but they're very grateful for that. And let's look at the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. All right, so with the pig spirit, we have appears to remind you of intelligence as a gift and have that is meant to be used with love and compassion and discernment. This person has a lot of intelligence, means they recognize the value of intuition and have smarts and common sense, which lead to intelligent solutions. It also comes to respect your analytical mind. So this person is very analytical, very logical, and also they're very open-minded. They have thoughtful dialogues. They enjoy conversation. They enjoy dialogues. Um, also, you are in, I'm interpreting this as I go because I, it's important that we understand the pig. And then I'm doing my own little thing on top if you're wondering. Um, okay, so this, this spirit blesses us with wisdom, open-mindedness, and thoughtful dialogues. And then also um, is interested in ideas and very open. So this, this person is a very clear-minded thinking individual. Uh, they have a lot of wisdom and they're really good at decision-making. Okay. Also the pig spirit is pretty reliable. So with all of this energy already, I'm getting that this person is very grounded. They know what they want. They're very grateful. They could be a minimalist. They don't have to be. Um, they have a lot of gratitude for life and they're very intellectual, very analytical, uh, really good at finding solutions and decision-making very open-minded, but loves conversation. All right, let's look at this rock star. I am a million different things at a million different times. I am me, I am me with no apologies. This is exactly what I was feeling. Uh, just because there, there's so many different type of, there's a bird here, there's a reptilian, there's also the pig spirit here. It's like, who is this person? They're very multifaceted. Um, there's a lot to them there. I also get that they're adventurous. And I say that because for the most part, they're, they're mysterious and adventurous because they're open. They, if you say, let's go rock climbing, let's go jump off the cliff into the water. They're like, yeah, sure. Let's do that. They're very open-minded to doing these things. And they really encompass being themselves. Like they're really good at being who they are meant to be. They don't struggle with other people trying to changing them, change them. They're very grounded again with the armadillo spirit. They are very grounded. It's, they're not easily peer pressure. They know who they are. The mermaid soul. So this card says, love is not blind. It only sees what matters. So this person is a free spirit. I could tell you that right off the bat uh, with the mermaid soul, very mystical. Like I said, very mysterious. They're open to mystical things. So if you were to talk about tarot or you were talking about these aliens or whatever you want to talk about, this person is very open to mystical things and they don't really believe in coincidence. They believe that things happen for a reason and it's like, it's weird because they're intellectual, but they're very open-minded. So they have a balance to both of them. Um, they could be also into music, uh, just because of the rock star card here and, um, into the water, into traveling in water, boats, anything with water, with the mermaid soul, uh, we have the two worlds here. So they could be interested in that. And then, um, they just have a lot of self love for themselves and they, they did a lot of introspection. So this person has done the work. They know who they are. They don't struggle with being someone that they're not. What you get is what you see. That's what this person is basically saying. Okay, polarity. So they have a good balance of things. They see the world as the yin and yang alchemist, right? They see that good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. So they're very open to a uh, perspective of life. Um, and they also know how to embrace the light. And I feel like embracing the light and the darkness, they're very free spirited, very, um, multifaceted and, uh, not in a place of rebel. It's, it's more in a place of this is me. Like it, it, I am who I am. And they also see love as being something very important to them. So this person might not be into religion, but they would, this is someone that would say love is my religion. Um, and so they are pretty spiritual and um, open to that. And then the polarity card just tells me that they 
are able to turn bad events and things that have happened into good. They have a way of seeing life through the lenses of positivity. Awareness, yeah, like I said, they're very aware of themselves. This person is at the stage of self-actualization, which I like to call when you have completed things in your life, you're now on a mission to help other people. And so with the awareness card, it tells me that this person is very self-aware. Obviously, they're them with no apologies. Um, they, they're very grounded. They know what they want. Very graceful, uh, very, very grateful for life, having an open mind, very, um, very wise, but spiritually sound as well. So they live in the moment and they also are very conscious of their thoughts and they're open to signs and guidance. So this is someone who looks up things, researches things, enjoys that, enjoys knowledge, enjoys wisdom, enjoys finding more out about themselves, self-awareness, introspection. They're just in tune with themselves and growing. They love to grow. Hope. So yeah, this card, the hope card, stay positive. They're a very positive person. Um, like I said, look up to the light. The, even with the polarity card here, it tells me that this person is able to see the good in any situation. They are able to adapt to no matter what happens to them. They have a sense of hope and love. They focus on hope and love as the center of their heart and, and their mind and their wisdom. And compassion. Yeah, they have a lot of compassion. Be gentle with yourself. So they're, they're into... I feel like they may have struggled in the past with being themselves, but they've learned to have compassion for other people and they're very compassionate about everyone. They're very accepting of everyone. They're not judgmental. They're very open again because they, they have a mermaid soul. So they're, they kind of don't feel like they're from here. They're very, they're, they have a very interesting personality um, to see themselves as having a mermaid soul. Um, again, they enjoy the water but they have a lot of compassion, hope, and love. Like these are the three things and the way that they got here is awareness. So they did go through a hermit stage where they learned more about themselves and they're very aware of things, very conscious, but they're, they have a heart of gold. Like they mean well, um, a lot of people misinterpret them and judge them and misconceive them. I, I feel like it's a lot of misconception with this person, seeing what you get, but people still judging them. And so they understand that they're they're not meant to fit in. They understand again that they don't even feel like they're from here. They just have a different type of energy, um, but they still are really great at embodying compassion, having hope for certain situations, and having a very positive outlook on life. Um, again, as far as the occupation and the work, I feel like this person could be involved with kids, but I don't really feel like it. I feel like they're more they're more involved in work that is not typical. Like I, they don't work a typical nine to five job. They're a free spirit. Um, they're very wise in what they do, but they're, they don't fit in with the crowd. They stand out. So this person could be like, how do I explain it? Their energy is like mm, someone who is very gifted, but no one knows it. They're just very smart, but kind of misjudge so people don't really give them an opportunity. So if a nine to five person seen like an employer was to hire this person, they would probably be like, mm, not, not the fit. And that's because they're very misinterpreted. I feel like this person could have tattoos as well. I'm getting tattoos. Like that's what I feel. Um, they're just so different. They express themselves in a different way that is misconstrued a lot of the times. People choose to see them through their lens of perspective, but they are a very amazing person when you give them the chance uh, to open up and give them the chance to get to know them. All right, let's see about their personality. Justice, so they could be a Libra, they don't have to be. And this person could be into unicorns if it's a woman, if, you're think, if your life partner is a woman, they're into unicorns, mermaids, mystical things. If it's a man, they're into things such as like uh, aliens, um, you know, weird stuff like that. Just really cool things. Like they're just different. Um, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the lovers. They could be a Gemini. They don't have to be. Um, again, their personality is not showing up as much. 
uh, because we have three different major arcana cards here. So they are a lover. Uh, they believe in good luck, good fortune. They believe in having good faith. They believe in faith. Uh, they believe in justice though. And that's the interesting thing. They're spiritual, but they still believe in logic, raw laws, what is right and what is wrong. So they have a, a good sense of morals and um, they could be into, I want to say cannabis, CBD oils, things of that nature. They're just really open. They're not, they don't follow the crowd. They're kind of different. Um, they don't have to be into that stuff. I'm just seeing what I pick up for some of you guys. They're just into trying new things. Um, and so they kind of have like, they kind of have a rebel spirit, but they really, they don't because they're such a lover. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I would say with that. Time, you are trying too hard, give it time. So this person is coming in, um, but it's only a matter of time before you meet them. I feel like you won't recognize them right away. I feel like you, you guys might overlook them. All right, let's look at the intimate side of things. Ten of Wands, so yeah, they're really passionate. Um, ten of Swords and the Ten. We have two Tens and we have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have Justice. So if you guys already met this person, because we have a lot of karmic energy, if I'm describing the person that you guys have been with, then this is probably your life partner. But what I'm getting is that this person could be, you guys can have a past life energy in which you guys will recognize each other as well. There's a lot of love there between you guys. Um, again, I feel like you guys may have loved each other in a past life. With the Ten of Swords here, it's an ending. Um, and then the Ten of Wands, this is a lot of passion, a lot of physical attraction uh, for each other. This person is very attractive, um, but they're different. They're, they're attractive in their own way. Um, and they're very attracted to you sexually. But I feel like you guys could have had something in the past as well with the justice card. They could also work in the justice field. They could be like a probation officer, work in the, uh, in the law. Uh, they could be anything that has to do with like government officials, um, anything that working for the government in general, they could be, they could do that. Also, I feel like they're very comfortable with themselves sexually. They're very comfortable with that part, that aspect of them. So overall, your life partner is going to be wise, intelligent, uh, a rock star tendency, um, into mystical things, into water, could be into water, into boats, things of that nature. If it's not water, then it's going to be mystical things. Um, interested in, in outer body experiences and outer life experiences is what I'm getting to. They're very aware, um, very in tune with themselves, very um, in tune with their sexual side. They're open sexually. Um, to trying new things, very passionate. Um, they embody hope and compassion and love. They have a heart of gold. They live in the moment. They're into living in the moment, not into the past or the present or, or in the past and the future, but rather relatively the, the present moment. Um, and then also last but not least, they're very grateful for life. They're very graceful. Um, they're just misunderstood. I feel like they're they're pretty misunderstood. And I feel like they're coming in. It's just going to take time with this time card here. You guys also will have a magnetic sexual connection. It'll be pretty, it'll be pretty magnetic. It'll be very intense. Um, they'll, they're definitely satisfying when it comes to sexually. And I feel like there's an attraction there. There'll be an undenying attraction for this person. So yeah, that's what I get for deck number two. Don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys think about your, your life partner. All right, moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what is your life partner like. If you guys skip to the timestamps, any information you may be seeking, you can find it in the description box below. All right, let's see what your life partner is all about. I'm gonna be looking at some interesting things, some characteristic traits and some energy, some sexual energy and their animal spirit. So let's start with the animal spirit. All right, we have the beaver spirit lay as a solid foundation. So whoever this person is, is they are into commitment. They're into family structure. They're into a foundation. And I'm going to read from the book and look more into the beaver spirit. And then the starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. 
All right, so let's see what these two are about. The beaver spirit number six. All right, the beaver is about laying a solid foundation. It's here to tell you about a powerful living within you, about your power, the power that's living within you, that a spirit is born, the source from which all life arises. This is the power to establish a sacred connection. This person is into universal consciousness. Um, also, uh, they're into co-creating the world, creating more, so they do want children. Um, they're very determined. Also, they know what it takes to work. They put in a lot of effort. They could work very hard at their job. And um, they're definitely in, in the co-creative spirit of laying down a solid foundation for your dreams. So if with spirit as your partner, you bring, you bring the twigs and the branches of your intentions and desires and spread them across the river of time, you'll be amazed at what you can do. You will find that you can even change the direction of the flow of life. You can ensure that your world will be prosperous and purposeful. So this is their idea of what a foundation in a relationship would be. Um, but they're also about sustainability and sturdy foundation, intention and energy, and also being deliberate and consistent within the relationship. So this person is all about success, but also is here to help you change the course of your life in the way your heart desires. So this person is gonna care about your needs and your desires, and they take on a role of providing. So they definitely have a role feeling like they, they are here to provide and want to provide for the family and for you. And then we have the starfish spirit. So the starfish has a really great spirit. I've read this one before, but I'm gonna read it again. Uh, just so you guys can get an interpretation of it all right so the starfish is open to infinite possibilities so this starfish is all about the sun and the beach so this person could be into that as well as you look out towards the horizon do you open up to infinite possibilities so this is about possibilities opportunities imagination um they feel like they can pursue their dreams they're they're a dream chaser and they're into their dreams also they feel like there is no limitation and they push past their comfort zone. So they're on to bigger things and they imagine, have an imagination with even greater hope and faith for miraculous potential and shining down. So they're about inspiration and then they're also about infinite possibilities and opportunities. So this person is definitely a dreamer. Um, they're into more than just like the nine to five, they're, they're open, like they, they could be a music artist, they could be into more of a creative aspect of life, but they're very open as far as their potential though they're they're very grounded and they're interested in foundation commitment and things of that nature all right so let's look at the unicorn spirit and keep going action so this person is going to take action they are aggressive they they have a lot of masculine energy though the beaver may seem to be uh feminine don't underestimate it that's like what i'm getting but they do take action and they have a lot of confidence um, in taking the lead. They're not afraid to take the lead. They're not afraid to follow. Um, but for the most part, I feel like they have a very alpha spirit. Even if your your life partner is to be a woman, she has a very alpha spirit. Prosperity. So they're into prosperous things, yes. They're into building a solid foundation. They may even want multiple houses. They may want a beach house and then they may want a house in the suburbs. Uh, I feel like this person is a dreamer. They want a lot. They're very into prosperity, money, abundance, increasing their finances, um, but they're also into the prosperity of love. So they want it all. They want the love, they want the money, they want all of it. Um, and they really admire to have that. They feel like there is no, the sky is the limit. Like the, that's what this person feels like, the sky is the limit. So they're a dreamer. They may come to you and say, hey, I have this idea, we should do this. They could be an entrepreneur. Um, but for the most part, they're really into living a prosperous life and goddess. So yeah, whether it's a man or a woman, a god or a goddess, it doesn't matter because again, energy has no spirit. This person knows who they are. This person knows who they are. They don't question it. I feel like they might be into having a nonprofit or building a business. They know their potential. They're very confident. This person is very confident. And they have really good energy. They're manifesting. They manifest a lot. They take action what they want. They are an alpha. Yeah, for sure. Celebration. So they, they're a dreamer. Again, they could be an entrepreneur, own their own business, or seek to do that. 
Um, they have a lot of achievements, a lot of rewards. People look up to them. Um, they have an energy that a lot of people admire. They're into manifesting. Even if they don't have a lot of money, they have an energy of wealth around them. People notice that and, and assume that they do have money. They love the finer things in life, but they also love to lay a foundation. This is the type of person who wants to leave a home for their children and make sure that their family is good. Um, they're into celebrating, but they see life from a positive perspective. Um, they, they have a really good outlook on life, a really good perception on life. It's like life is what you make it. Life could be heaven or hell. This person sees life as heaven and they see that they can have anything that they, that they want. Um, they see themselves as a magician manifesting things. Um, a very hard worker. Also, I'm getting that they, they're very in tune with themselves spiritually and they have the personality of someone who is so confident that even if a hundred people tell them no, they just have this drive. They have this drive and ambition to get to where they need to get to. And they, nothing can stop this person. This person could be famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person could be famous for sure. Um, yeah. I got chills when I said that, but yeah, this person could be famous. Um, a lot of people know about this person. If not, they're on their way to it. Again, they could be a music artist. They could be a, a public speaker into that, but famous as being well known. Um, and they're in an industry where a lot of people acknowledge them for the work that they do. They could be a dreamer to be a producer, um, an artist, any artistry, they're a creator. Also, they're multifaceted as well. There, there's a lot of things that this person does. Very successful or will be very successful. Let's see what this says. Amalthea. So this person could definitely be a father or mother, but I feel like with this card, this is someone who wants children and wants a foundation and a family, but is very driven to make sure that they have everything that they want. So if this person doesn't have children, they will wait until they're where they want to be successfully and then they will have um, children. Wild and free. All good things are wild and free. So yeah, this person does have a free spirit. Um, they are sort of like a rebel. People tell them no, they still do it. Um, that's the type of energy I get. Super wild and free with, with the unicorns running. Um, they're very open to living a free life. They're not really, they're not really a follower. They stand out. And like I said, they could be, that's why I said they could be famous. They could, um, be doing something that a lot of people know. Like when I say famous, I'm not, I'm not saying they, they are probably an A-list celebrity. I mean, they could be, but famous also, I want you to take into consideration well-known. They could be well-known in the workplace. They can be well-known in their community. Um, but whoever this person is, they are a leader. People look to them for answers. They could run a company. They could be a manager, a director, but they're running things and people look to them to do that. But sometimes I feel like people question them because their ideas are so like out of the box. And that's what I get with this wild and free card. So they're very wild and free, open to new things. Um, but again, with the beaver spirit, they still desire to have a foundation, but they believe in possibility. They, they will never quit. This is, person is not a quitter. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So you guys could be thinking about um, a woman. You don't have to be. Again, I just want to make sure I don't count you guys out. Um, but this person, even if it's a male, that is your life partner, they have very passionate energy. They're a manifester. They're very emotionally invested in the things that they do. And that's work, people, places, traveling, taking action. They're very passionate in that. They don't settle for less. Again, uh, with the work situation with the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who works very diligently and very hard uh, to make sure that things happen. Um, so I don't feel like they they rush into things. They make sure that it's done and complete. I mean, they could rush, but for the most part with the Knight of Pentacles, um, they are manifesting things. And I feel like they're kind of hard on themselves because they want to be somewhere where they're not. They see this vision, they're manifesting it. However, things have been taking longer. But as far as the Knight of Pentacles, they're very ambitious about getting work done and working. This is someone who is, who enjoys work. 
but of, of course it's something that they enjoy doing. Okay. Queen of Cups, very passionate, again, about what they do, um, very passionate about what it is that they want to do, never settling, never giving up with the Queen of Wands. Um, they have good energy. They have fire energy. They could have fire in their chart with the Queen of Wands here and the wild and free. Um, so that could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, again, because they do have an alpha spirit. So I do see that they could have fire in their chart for sure. Because this type of person does not mind standing out. It ha this person has a lot of fire um, characteristics, fire element characteristics as far as being in the forefront of the crowd, people acknowledging them, having the energy, having the fire to do what they're doing. All right, let's see what these cards are. Secret admirer. So someone, this could be someone that you already know. This can be someone that's around you or someone who's very close with a secret, secret admirer card. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So if this is someone around you, take heed. This could be your life partner. And then we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. I also feel like with this forgiveness card, this person has could have been through some things or you may know this person um, and they could have... Uh, you could have dated this person. This could very much well be your life partner. Uh, but for the most part, what I'm getting from this card is that they're all about creating their own reality. I told you they're a dreamer. They imagine, they think it, they think it, dream it, imagine, and it manifests. This type of person is going to have a lot of success. Um, and, but with the forgiveness card, I feel like they could have been through some things in the past, but for the most part, they push forward because they have so much ambition to make this happen. All right, let's look at the sexual energy. So we have the five of swords here. Um, so this person can be aggressive when it comes to uh, sexual energy. And then we have the five of cups. So yeah, the five of cups is usually like a past energy um, that they could have went through. But this person is very sincere, has a heart of gold, just wants to do right. Just wants to do right, make you happy, give you the dreams and the desires that you have. Um, sexually, they're they're very passionate. They're very passionate. Um, now, the aggression aggressive part, I think that they enjoy they enjoy having sex. Um, the Five of Swords is usually adversity, uh, but with this card, I'm getting that this is more of a, a intense type of energy when it comes to sexual energy. Um, but I do feel like for the most part, they are very in tune with making you happy and pleasing you is what I'm getting with the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. Again, they could have went through a past relationship that they're, if you have yet to meet this person, they are still letting go of that past relationship to be more open is what I'm getting too. But for the overall energy for your life partner, this person is very wild. Again, we have the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. Um, they're very wild and that's what I mean by aggressive. They're very in tune sexually um, and they enjoy being alpha. They enjoy being masculine, whether that's a woman or a male that you guys are looking for in a life partner. They enjoy having the masculine role and then taking action, like I said, um, but also very, they're very prosperous and they're very godlike. They understand who they are. Um, they know why they're here and they may also be on a road to their purpose. And a lot of people celebrate their victories. They're very well known in their community or people know of them. Um, even if it's their family that's around them, they know that this person is a great person. And um, this, this person also in the yearbook would be most, most likely to succeed. Most likely to succeed, most likely, likely to make things happen. And also um, someone who is just very passionate about what they're doing. But they, it's interesting because they're alpha, but they still encompass a very feminine energy. They have a really good balance of that. And I feel like that's more in the sexual aspect of being even submissive. Like they don't mind that, but for the most part, like they, they have a balance of being alpha and then also being feminine because they have a lot of feminine energy, but they have feminine energy when it comes to their goals, their aspirations, their dreams, uh, finances. They have a good feminine energy with that and their relationships. Now, when it comes to their drive and making things happen and building a foundation, they take on that providing role of masculinity. And I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to give you everything you want. Um, and also with the goddess, I honor your divine feminine energy. So they have a good balance of being a provider, but also having the feminine energy to be sensitive and vulnerable and opening up 
with you. So yeah, that's what I get for deck number three. Um, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys think about your life partner. Moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is what your life partner is like. Also, if you guys skip to the timestamp and are interested in seeking more information about tarot reading classes or booking a section, you guys can learn all that information in the description box below. Let's see what your guys' life partner is like. Let's look at the characteristic traits, the sexual part of it, their aspirations, all of that good stuff. All right, we're gonna start off with the animal spirit. We have the fox spirit. So this person is very wise, very witty, very passionate. And then we have the otter spirit. You are never alone. So let's look at these from the book and then I will interpret it in the way that I see your life partner. All right, we have number 27. All right, the fox spirit is very alert and has appeared as moving swiftly. Let this clever spirit draw out your creativity. They're very creative, very resilient, graceful, astuteness. They think on their feet. They make very good decisions. Um, they're very in tune with discernment also. Um, and also they take a swift action of the mind, a time to think outside the box and notice the many, the many ways in which you might make a move aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. So this is all about cleverness and also taking the lead to better relationships and situations. So this spirit is here to basically, the fox spirit is good with making decisions, very discerning, very intuitive, and very in tune with surroundings. And also creative. All right, let's look at the otter spirit. Like true friends, otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch. This person expresses their love through touch as you see on the card, there's a heart with two otters. Um, so they enjoy that. That might be their love language, physical touch. Um, actions and holding hands. They like to hold hands, give hugs to, to reassure how they feel and tell you that you're really never alone. They like to basically comfort you in being there physically and intimately. Um, they also communicate with their voice, facial expressions and their gestures and actions, letting them know that they are really good at expressing love. This person is very good at love and affection and celebrating a joyful celebration of love in your life and expressing friendship and companionship. Um, so this person is all about friendship, companionship. I also feel like they they enjoy intimate dinner night, candlelight dinners. Uh, they also enjoy communication and dialogue as well. Let's look into the others. Passion, yeah, they have a lot of passion. I see that for sure. Well, they're they're very touchy filly, so I won't be surprised when we get to the sex tarot how they feel about that. So passion, especially underneath the fox, I do see that they have a lot of passion. They do it excites them. They're very fired up. They have fired up energy, very dominant energy. You, your guys' life partner could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, just because of all the flames that I have here, all the fire type of energy. So they're very passionate about. Um, you and what it is that they do so they won't take on anything or anyone that they're not passionate about they don't really spend time wasting on that um but i do feel like they could be in tune sexually very in tune sexually let's just take a look at that oh this one had three cards too yeah death card could it be a scorpio doesn't have to be or you could be a scorpio Death is Scorpio energy, but you know Scorpios to be very in tune sexually. Um, then we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're very in tune. They they enjoy sex. They enjoy intimacy, physical. That is all their love language. They enjoy it. And the Seven of Swords. They're very committed. They don't they don't want to. Even though they enjoy sex, they don't want to just sleep around. They want to be committed to one person, um, and they honor commitment though they honor sexual intimacy as well. With the Seven of Swords, this is usually someone who's been betrayed in the past. This tells me that this person is very into uh, commitment, um, very physically alluring, very attractive. Um, also with the death card here, I feel like maybe you guys have been with this person is what I'm getting to, it's weird. If, if this resonates with you and this is a past person, 
that you've been with, it could be your life partner. Let's look more into the energy. Rebirth, yeah. So I feel, that's why I feel that way. Look at all the fire. Like, this is insane. So whoever this person is, is going through a rebirth. I feel like they're very egotistical. Um, they could have been unfaithful in the past. And so now they're starting to honor commitment. Um, those are probably things you don't want to hear as a life partner, but they're going through a rebirth. They're changing. So they've reinvented themselves. They're giving life to their dreams. They're learning about creating a new reality. Um, they're letting things go from the past. Nine of Swords. So I feel like there, there was definitely some things that have happened in the past. And that's why I say you guys might have a past life connection with this person or have been with this person because this energy is past energy of hurt and going through a lot. But whoever this person is, they're very passionate. Um, they're very witty. They're very smart. Um, and they're going through a rebirth nature they're also into nature if they weren't they are now so they're about grounding themselves and sanctuary time alone um they might enjoy the outdoors they might enjoy hunting fishing anything of being in the outdoors they enjoy nature they enjoy having their own alone time and connecting with the elements of nature and so that could be flowers gardening um that can also be climbing the mountains being a hiker loving the outdoors this person can also live in the country or live outside of America, like Australia or New Zealand, some somewhere with a lot of green pastures for, for a few of you. Abundance. So enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is limited. Blessings are coming your way. So this person is a very outgoing person. Again, I'm picking up a lot of fire signs. Fire signs, but then we also have Scorpio. Um, and I only say that because this person stands out. They're different. They're not like everybody else. Um, very attractive. I feel like a lot of people find this person attractive. They love to be intimate. They love physical touch. That is their love language. They're open to that. And they also love being in nature. All right, we're getting more energy on this person. Two hearts, one soul, sisterhood. We have the soul sisters card. So this could also mean that you guys have a twin flame relationship. And I only say that because that's kind of what the soul sisters embodies. It's two hearts with one soul. This would be the twin flame card of sisterhood. So you guys could have a dynamic connection. Now, don't, again, you guys could be same sex. You don't have to be. Uh, but for this, the soul sisters tells me that you guys will have a connection. Like, not like sisters, but soul sisters. Like, best friends. Think of it as a best friend situation. And so you guys embody a lot of the same characteristics. You guys could feel like I was describing you in that very sense. This could also be the fact that you guys are mirroring each other. You guys both stand out. Um, you have two hearts, one soul again, but you guys have this undying connection as, as to where you feel like you can tell this person anything and you have a really good connection on a soul level, but also a friendship type of level. Beautiful bandit. Yeah, so you guys have been through a lot. This, this person is like very free very free has been through a lot but is very just wants to be loved is what I'm getting just wants to be loved um, this person is comes off as a hard ass but is pretty sensitive in the inside um, and they have a good balance with passion and nature they have a good balance with spirituality and physical physicality and that's what they're learning right now they're going through a rebirth and going through this um the connection that you guys will have it will be like a best friend love type of connection um even with the sex here i feel like you guys will have a passionate connection in that because you guys have such a dynamic friendship and a dynamic foundation um also with the beautiful bandit i feel like this person is an outsider they're an outcast they don't fit in a lot of people question them um, and, but they just, they also, they don't fit in, but they stand out. So they don't fit in with the typical crowd, but they stand out because they don't fit in with them. If that makes sense. Playfulness. Yeah. And soulmate, like I said, that's, that's confirmation. So you guys have a, so you guys have a soulmate coming in. Um, this person, you may already be thinking about them in spirit. They're definitely thinking about you. Um, whoever this person is, I feel like you're just going to want to love them and they're just going to want to love you. And they put the past behind them. They're ready for something new. Um, and they, they want to learn more about the spiritual world. I feel like they're open to that. They want to know more about what it is that you like. And um, they also, again, with the playfulness, laughter is the best 
therapy, have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I feel like you guys will have a dynamic friendship and relationship. So it'll start off as a friendship, but it'll go more into a relationship. So if this is someone that you do know, this could be your life partner or a secret admirer that you're unaware of. Uh, with the rebirth and then the otter spirit and the fox spirit, this tells me that this person is definitely a soul connection. And it tells me that because you guys, if you would have met this person prior, they would have been not in the right place. And I feel like now they're working on getting into the right place so that you guys can connect and come back together. So they're preparing for you and you're preparing for them, but they will be open to the spiritual life, spiritual nature, and um, they love the outdoors. I also feel like this person is very adventurous and loves to try new things. Um, but again, the playfulness card is here, the soulmate and the soul sisters. So you guys will have a soul connection. All right, we have the king of swords. So this person is pretty alpha. They are pretty dominant. They are visionary. They're also very authoritative. So they could be in the law system. They could be a doctor. Uh, they also could be, I'm feeling like they could be a leader of some sort. The magician card as well so this tells me that this person is manifesting there i don't feel like they're old they, i don't feel like they've learned about manifestation until recently um because of the rebirth and they've been through a lot but they're open to that and they are a manifester they manifest abundance so they could also be well off or wealthy or on their way to more wealth whatever it is that they do they're very passionate about it um but with the king of swords here the king of wands And the Knight of Swords, this tells me that this person is very driven. Um, they're they're idealistical person. So they have ideas, they run with it, they manifest it. They're very passionate about what they do. This is a lot of passion. Again, like I said, this person could definitely be a fire sign. They have a lot of masculine, passionate energy. And they're also a leader. People look up to them. They're, they have an authority. They're an authority figure but they're also very dominant in what they're, they're doing passionately. So we also have a couple of sword energy, so it could be an air sign. I'm leading still towards a fire sign in a chart that could be rising moon or sun, but we do have a lot of air energy here too. So I would say air or fire. And aside of that with the Scorpio, because we have the seven of swords, the nine of swords, the knight, and the, the uh, king of swords. So this person is a thinker. They're very witty. Um, they're very smart. They know what they're doing. They're very passionate. Um, and it, again, they enjoy friendship and physical touch. They enjoy that. As you see, even on this card, their backs are turned towards each, each other. This person is distraught about that. They're into the physical aspect of things. And um, they do want to settle down and be in a relationship with someone that has more of a dynamic of a friendship rather than just someone that they can settle settle down with in a physical way sexually but more of um a spiritual connection that they can create their dreams with and live a new reality to so last but not least i do feel like this person is a leader and does have a lot of ideas and has a lot of goals and ambitions in life and wanting to manifest these things uh, but i do also feel like they're very passionate about what it is that they're doing and the dreams that they do have so that's what I get for deck number four. Don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say about your life partner. Thank you guys for tuning in to this pick a card reading. In the meantime, love and light to you.